Hi, my name is Steve Gerrard. Today we're going to focus on editing a wedding using AI and the company Imagine AI. If you don't know about Imagine AI, you should check out my previous video, which I will link to below and I'll mention again at the end of the video. But for now, we're going to just choose one wedding, Imagine AI. The AI is going to edit the entire wedding. I'm not going to do anything. We're just going to send it off, see what comes back, and I'm going to show you the results. So let's get into it. Okay, so here we are at the computer. I've loaded in a wedding that I shot in Italy. It's actually the engagement shoot as well. So you'll see a few pictures from the engagement shoot, which was the day before the wedding. These are completely unedited. So these are just straight out of camera. You'll see that some are overexposed, some are underexposed, some of the white balance is kind of a little bit all over the place. There are 841 pictures, which is quite a lot, but it'll give you a good overview of the kind of variety that I shoot on a wedding day and how we're gonna edit those pictures using Imagine AI. So here we are, this is in Lake Como in Italy. There's a few kind of scene setting shots and then you can see a few pictures from their engagement shoot. Like I say, this is the day before the wedding. Now you can see there's pictures like this one here, which are not straight. There's a few that are a little bit underexposed or overexposed, especially down here. You can see these ones totally overexposed here and a bit underexposed here. So it'd be interesting to see what Imagine AI does with these. This is really, really overexposed and we might not be able to bring some of these highlights back, but let's see how Imagine AI goes. So this is the engagement shoot. And then we get down to the beginning of the wedding day. You can see this picture over here is really super yellow. It's a nice moment with her and her mum, but we need to fix that color balance, a few detail shots, and then at least you're getting ready. And then if we just scroll all the way down, Simon getting ready just before the wedding. And then, yeah, we went to the wedding on a boat, which is kind of cool. And the wedding venue was amazing. And it was all outdoors. Actually, the light was pretty harsh during the ceremony. You can see it's very, very bright midday kind of sunshine. And then we have the family shots. A few of these are overexposed as well, as you can see. And then we went off to do some couple portraits around the grounds at the venue and then back. We didn't actually have that much time for a couple portraits, if I remember, but then we jumped back on the boat and went back to their reception venue, which was right on Lake Como. Pretty amazing spot to get married. A few more detail shots. White balance looks all right on these. And then indoor gets a little bit yellow again, as you can see, or a little bit orange actually. And then this will be around blue hour, which is why they look a bit blue. Outside after dark, always a little bit of a challenge with lighting. And then indoors for the party and, oh yeah, we did a few pictures the day after the wedding as well. So a real mixed bag. And that's partly why there's a lot of pictures, 841 and those are in Lightroom, haven't done anything to them yet, and we're gonna send them to Imagine AI. So that's what we're starting with, 841 pictures, completely unedited, and I'm gonna send them to Imagine AI, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so here we have Imagine AI open, we're gonna click on edit, because we wanna send them a catalog to edit, and then we're gonna select the catalog from recent, find Alicia and Simon right at the top there, and then we give it a quick name, I just call it by their names, and then this is my preset that I've taught Imagine AI, my style. So Newcomb Baby, I don't know, it's a stupid name I know, but over time they've learned what my editing style is by me uploading Lightroom catalogs to their server and teaching the AI my style. And you'll know how that all works from the last video. So then we're gonna find 841 images here, just click select all, hit choose. And then when I hit send, this is gonna send this catalog to Imagine AI so that it can start working its magic. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually time how long this takes. I'm gonna hit start at the same time as I click send. And there you can see it is uploading. Obviously it depends on what kind of computer you've got, but at the moment it's saying well, around about 12 minutes, 11 minutes, so we'll see how long that takes. 
Okay, so we're on 99%, 100%, 8 minutes and 43 seconds to upload a Lightroom catalog with 841 images on. Obviously, it's going to depend on your computer. It's also going to depend on your internet speed, but that is pretty damn quick. And now we just need to wait for the email from Imagine AI, which is going to say that your edits are done. And I'll let you know exactly how long that takes to arrive because the countdown is still going. Okay, so I just had the edits back. I just had my email from Imagine AI saying everything is ready and I stopped the clock and if you can see it, 14 minutes and 37 seconds. And that is from the moment we uploaded the catalog to the moment I got the email to say that everything is ready. So less than 15 minutes. So all we have to do now is go back into Imagine AI. We're gonna go to the download tab and then select Alicia and Simon, there they are. And then we're gonna download the catalog. That's gonna take just a few seconds. Finish downloading 841 images. We can close Imagine AI now. And then we reopen the Lightroom catalog. Now, this is my favorite part of the whole thing where you just start to see the images pop with the Imagine AI edits and you'll start to see all the corrections, the toning that I like on my images will be there. Now here you can see that they've got two identical images and they've actually edited them slightly different. So sometimes, especially when it's backlit, they do seem to struggle with some of the edits. And you can see again here, they're still a bit underexposed. That one where we were worried about blowing the highlights, maybe it was just a little bit too overexposed, but everything else is looking pretty damn good. Now I don't get Imagine AI to do my crops or my straightening for me. You can see these are not quite straight, but from the horizon, you can pretty much work that out. They do do a pretty good job, but it's not consistent enough for me just yet. But yeah, these are looking amazing to me so far. Here's that one that was a bit yellow. Maybe it's still a little bit yellow, but it's a lot better than it was before. Now with these silhouette shots, it's actually managed to work out that that is meant to be a silhouette and they're not gonna overexpose it massively. So that's really impressive because AI doesn't necessarily know what you're gonna do with creative edits, but I'm really pleased that it worked that out. But you can see these here that are overexposed. Uh, we'll just let it pop. There you go. And that's how it's corrected it and they look great. What about these ones? Let's see what it does with those. Yeah, much better. A little bit dark maybe, but we can sort that out later on. And a few yellow ones, let's see. And again, they've kept that silhouette nice, which is actually one of the pictures in my portfolio. So let's scroll all the way down to the wedding. Like I mentioned, the light was pretty harsh here, very strong shadows on them, as you can see. But it is correcting for these really, really well. Saving any blown highlights. What about on this one? Look at that. That was really, really overexposed and it's corrected it really, really well. And what about these? You can see I've blown the highlights a little bit in the dress because it is so backlit. And I'm just going to increase the size of the grid view so you can see some of these pictures even better. Yeah, look at these, these family shots all looking fantastic straight away. You can watch these pop, there you go. And I wanna find the couple portraits. They're gonna be down here. Again, overexposed. I seem to have exposed, overexposed quite a few shots that day, but Imagine AI sorted that out nicely. These were a bit kind of green yellow because they're right in the middle of the trees. This one, still a bit underexposed, I think because it's very backlit and quite tricky lighting. But look at these, looking amazing. Here's another backlit one. Kind of like what it's done with that. These ones in front of the shutters, really, really like. And these ones on the boat. This is one that's in my portfolio. 
And that pretty much looks exactly as it is in my portfolio. I would straighten the horizon and maybe save some of the highlights in the clouds and maybe around the edges. But apart from that, I don't need to do very much at all on these. So here we have a few detail shots. Let's see what it does. Great, love it. Now obviously you might not agree with how I like the pictures to look because your style might be completely different to mine, but this, if you've seen my portfolio, if you see my Instagram, you will see that this kind of fits with my edit style very nicely. Pop. Like the colors and the tones and everything that you see in these pictures are just exactly what I go for. Uh, let's have a look at some of these pictures from the dancing. Yeah, they've got rid of that kind of orangey yellow sheen really, really nicely. And then this is the next morning. These are going to be pretty easy for Imagine AI to edit, I think, because the light was fairly nice and even, nothing too harsh. So as you see them pop. Yeah, there's not much more I need to do to them. And so here I'll just show you a quick before and after. That's the before straight out of camera. And then that is the Imagine AI edit, which looks exactly how I would edit it. It wouldn't really change much at all. And you can see it's made adjustments in the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. It's changed the dehaze, vibrance. And this is all from my preset that I've taught them how to do it. Lots of stuff on the HSL sliders, the calibration. It's enabled the lens correction, which I always do. So this is obviously taken on my 35. You may know that that's my favorite wedding lens from another video that I did. And the thing about Imagine AI is this is artificial intelligence. And what it is going to do is just going to learn more and more what my style is. And it's just going to keep getting better and better. But I already love it. I already use it all the time. And if you want to try it out and you haven't tried it yet, you can use the link in the description below and you will get 1,500 free edits, which is 500 more than you would get if you were gonna just go through their website. So definitely use that link and see what you think for yourself. So there you go, that was edited with my personal AI profile. Imagine AI will build one, especially for you, based on what editing you've done before, but it has changed everything for me. I use it on every single shoot now. Now I don't just let AI do the editing and then send it off to the client. I do do some more editing afterwards, but it tends to be the more creative editing. Things like dodging and burning and using gradients and cropping and stuff like that, which I actually really enjoy that part of it. So I'm happy for AI to do all the boring stuff like color correction, exposure compensation, and just give it a kind of nice look for me to then do the finishing touches. And then it goes off to the client. And after the bit, we have to say, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos on this channel, then definitely consider subscribing. I do appreciate it. I really do. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.